Welcome to another instructional snippet. In this snippet, we will be setting up the equations to solve for the support forces on reducing elbow. The reducing elbow is shown here. Water flows in from the left side and discharges out the bottom as shown. Initially, we will ignore all weight. We will discuss the impact of accounting for the weight at the end of the analysis. As always, we should define our coordinate directions and the direction of gravity. These are shown here. Now that we have a coordinate direction defined, let's set up our control volume. Let's define our control volume to be the reducer and the water inside of it, as shown here. Let's add some more detail. We need an inlet diameter notation, outlet diameter, flow directions, and we need to set up to solve for the supporting forces, which we will break down into a Y component and an X component. Our Y will be chosen or guessed in the plus Y direction. For our X, we have chosen or guessed it to be acting in the minus X direction as shown here. And let's go ahead and note the direction of the weight. Now let's look at the equations we will need. The velocity vector with components U, V, and W in the X, Y, and Z directions respectively. We include the full vector equation for the integral form for conservation momentum. However, we will be analyzing for steady state and breaking this equation down into the X and Y components. The resulting equations are shown here. Now let's prepare to carry out the surface integrals. Only two surfaces have flow crossing their boundaries, so we will end up with just two surface integrals. We will label them as point one and point two as shown here. Now let's start applying the equations. We'll start with the X component direction. Only surface one has flow in the X direction crossing the surface boundaries. Let's identify the external forces acting in the X direction. We have a pressure force at one acting on the surface in the plus X direction. We assume that the X component of the supporting force, Rx, is acting in the negative X direction. These are shown here. Now let's work on the right hand side, the surface integral. The X component of velocity at one, U1, is in the positive X direction. The flow at surface one is an inflow, so the dot product returns a negative sign. These are shown here. Now we'll work on the Y component direction. Only surface two has flow in the Y direction crossing the surface boundaries. Let's identify the external forces acting in the Y direction. We have a pressure force at two acting on the surface in the plus Y direction. Remember, the pressure forces are always acting inward on the control volume. We assume that the Y component of the supporting forces our Y is acting in the positive Y direction. Now let's work on the right hand side, the surface integral. The Y component of the velocity, V2, is in the negative Y direction. The flow at surface 2 is an outflow, so the dot product returns a positive sign. These are shown here. Solving for the X component of the support force, we get is equal to the quantity shown here. Notice that all the parameters on the right hand side of this equation are positive. Therefore, the value calculated for the X component of the supporting force will be positive. What does this mean? It means that the direction that we guessed or assumed for the X component of the supporting force is correct. If it came back negative, then that would mean we guessed the wrong direction. We guessed the negative direction and that was proven correct. The X component of the force is acting in the negative X direction. Solving for the Y component of the support force, we get is equal to the quantity shown here. Notice the right hand side of this equation returns a negative value. Therefore, we assumed the incorrect direction. We assume the Y component of the supporting force is acting in the positive Y direction, but as calculated, it is acting in the negative Y direction. Of course, we ignored both the weight of the reducer and the water inside it. Let's explore that next. The combined weight of the reducer and water is an additional external force acting in the negative y direction. I skipped the steps, but we are left with the equation here. Now, it is unclear whether the support force in the y direction acts in the positive or negative y direction. It depends on the magnitude of the two terms on the right hand side of the equation. If the weight force dominates, then the support force is in the positive y direction. Otherwise, 
Is it the negative direction? I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.